All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's up, guys? We're back. Thank you guys so much. Got to get up in these comments. Yo, let's go. All right. So, here we are. Another busy, awesome day, which was great. And we have a fun, uh, what's up, Eugene? Uh, Eugene, great question. I was just uh, on like a Zoom call with like um, a couple other collectors that I know are going to be coming, like Eric, for example. So I know he's uh, coming, but I left the call early to come set up for the stream. So here we are. Also, I don't know. I can't tell. This kind of looks foggy to me. Let's see here. So maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe people are. What's up, Meg Zaney? Guys, so I kind of want to wait. We only have nine people on right now. What's up, Eric? Thank you for joining. Um, so Meg, I want to give you a shout out because I've actually talked about you in some of my videos uh, with the way that I make my stencils. And I want to make sure that people know that I learned some of that from you. But I want to wait till a couple more people are here so we can actually make a little impact with that. So Maddie, New York, what is up? Hello. Eric, welcome. Thank you for uh, coming in and moderating for me a little bit. I'm going to grab a couple paints. I think I'm thinking tonight, every night is different, and I haven't decided, uh, you know, I don't usually decide till right before the stream what we're actually going to paint or what we're going to do. It's not always painting. As you guys saw, we made like the relic cards last night, and that was awesome. And the night before that, we cut a stencil, and that was therapeutic for me, and I heard from you guys uh, that that was cool. Um... Dad, what's up? So Patrick Jameson is my dad, guys. He just jumped in the comments and warned me to be careful about my language, which is tight. Uh, so dad, these back pages or those back pages, Eric, uh, I was just on a call with and I told him that uh, you were going to be in the chat and he was super excited. And actually, dad, I don't know if you remember, but um, Meg Zaney is also here with us. She lives in LA. She came up and painted uh, during 90 Days to MoMA and did some collabs with me. So she's also here for the first time, which is cool. So I'm going to go back and grab some paints from right there. And uh, I'll just put out a bunch of colors and then you guys can pick. We're going to do some splatter painting today. Make some backgrounds for some of these Project 2020 cards. Or it might be for just a different portrait or fun abstract or whatever. So what's up, P-Hack? Hello. Dan NY, what's up from Lakeland? Hello, Lakeland from New York. Eric saying what's up to my dad, thank you. So you guys all chit chat a little bit. Dad, you can tell him a story if you want to. Um, I'll be right back, I'm gonna grab some paints and a hat. What hat should I wear tonight? I gotta find a good one. Okay, let's see. Tonight's painting hat, oh, is too small for me. Big ass head. I don't know if it grew since I wore this last year or what, but that did not fit. Tonight's hat is GoFlow. It was a startup in LA, surfing related startup, crowdsourced weather conditions. I did, uh, was friends with the founder, founder and uh, surfed with a bunch of the people from the company and then did some consulting. Um, yeah, what's up? Oh, cool. Meg saying hello. My dad saying what's up. Eric saying hello. Okay, now grabbing paints for real. Oh, the color choices. Okay, I'm feeling warm colors tonight. Let's see, let's get you guys. Just get it kind of matches that logo too. So, let's see here. Everybody give my boy P Hawk a follow on his new Facebook art page. Absolutely. Uh, put in, I know you probably can't put in a link into the comments, so type out the thing 
And then instead of like the dot in the dot com, just write like in parentheses dot. And then people are going to have to um, type that in manually. But you can put that in the comments and uh, everyone go follow P's new art page. I'm also curious to, uh, to see his art as well. <laughs> my dad has a quote from me as a kid saying, I had so much fun I got dirt in my pants, which is great. All right, so we have uh, some golden and some Blick uh, paints. We're gonna mix some of these together, add some water. We're gonna put a bunch of canvases. I can actually I can make this a little bigger for now. Put that here, we'll move it back over before we start painting. But we're gonna mix up some of these and then we're gonna do like some real big splatters. I have, um, uh, let's see, oh, Screw it, I won't tell you guys. Screw it, let's do it. I'm just, let's see, I guess if I put this up here, then it won't block anything on the floor. So first I'm gonna take that canvas roll, which is right down here, which is like my, it's actually just a cam, art canvas. Um, you know, I bought canvas on a roll to paint on, but that has become my drop sheet because like these floors look so awesome, but someday I'm gonna move and I can't take that floor with me and I really like it. So now I just started putting down a canvas so that I can actually take something with me. Team Hot Plate, that's right, that's the OG. I think, was that the first live stream? Maybe the second, second live stream, because I did do the opening the box, but. All right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get set up. interesting <laughs> so I actually just went and unrolled that and the cam the iPhone camera is not working right so let me, let me tweak this oh, it says it's working uh, hmm all right let's see let's delete this device real quick it's, it wouldn't be a live stream if there weren't a little bit of technical challenges to overcome. There we go, and we're back. Okay, let's see here. Yep. Okay, great. Drop that down. Okay, now we're in. For some reason, the iPhone had frozen, which is weird. Uh, okay, let's see here. Maddie moves first. Um, did I, I don't know, did I live stream Maddie? I live streamed Ricky. Actually, that was a late, like, late night live stream. But I think Magni I painted in isolation. But I did post about it, about choosing like which, which one it would be. Uh, okay, if you haven't started watching Westworld yet, catch up. The show's amazing. Westworld is dope. I have not, um, uh, I'm not caught up at all, actually. I'm on like, I think, what is it? If season four is out right now, which I think is what it is, that means I'm on season three. Whatever. Oh, echo. I can fix that, and I actually know what. might take a second to regulate, but I fixed it. Thank you. When I had to reset the phone camera, it turned the phone audio recording back on. Anyways. Um, okay, so we're gonna paint on a few different things. We've got the foam core, which is what I'm painting all of my tops cards on. We're gonna do two of those, which could like, actually it might be cool with these oranges, if you know uh, uh, the Easter egg in my trout painting orange might make a lot of sense to do on this. It, this could become a trout, but I'm not sure. And then we're also going to do some canvases. I'm going to grab those in a second. All right. Let's 
side. Put some variety on them. I'm gonna do a couple of those. So I just got, um, normally I go to uh, Blick Art Supplies in Manhattan uh, on 6th Ave and I'm buying, I don't buy all my canvases at once, I'll buy them for like whatever I'm working on at the time, whatever commission. Obviously with everything that's going on in New York, the retail store is not open so now I'm ordering my stuff online. And for ordering online makes a lot more sense to order in bulk so I got like big shipments I just picked up today so I've got a bunch of canvases so we're gonna do this one that is a 24 by 36 this will not be for project 2020 it's bigger than the cards that I'm painting but it will be fun to do this is the most standard size that I paint portrait commissions on so we're gonna paint on that these two similar situation I got six of these in the mail today they're just a little smaller these are 18 by 24 so these actually are the size that I'm doing my tops cards on but the tops cards won't be painted on this everything's being painted on foam so that when I have 20 of them I can travel easily easier carrying 20 they're a lot lighter and also cheaper so we're gonna paint some backgrounds that are gonna be something else and we're going to paint some cards. Alright. It'll be fun, like one of these days, especially uh, as people start sending me these baseball cards to sign. I'm starting to get a lot of mail, and like some people are sending me baseball cards just for my own personal collection, which is amazing. So nice in the card community how people do that. But uh, one of these days, we're going to do a mail day for a live session. We're just going to open up mail. I've seen that. I've seen some people do some fun stuff with that on, uh, on their own channels. And it's a nice change of pace from everything else that we do. Let's see what we got. What's up, Joshua? Welcome. Thank you uh, for your, I think it was what, uh, Ricky Henderson, or no, uh, Jackie Robinson that you ordered. Really appreciate that. Which, by the way, if you guys are curious about where you can get any of my latest releases, the link is down below the video. It is proathletportraits.com. The one that just went live today is um, Jackie Robinson, signed and numbered by me, the artist, and they're limited editions. The edition that I like the best is of 42. Obviously, that's like cool series and that card was card number 42 in a 400 card set and I'm working on what tops if you're new to this maybe you don't know but if you're here you probably know because I don't really market this uh, live stream except to uh, people that are like already in the card community or my dad or my friend Meg Zaney so welcome all of you guys all right let's see here where are we at all right not bad 22 concurrence that's you're starting to get up to speed also just the housekeeping before we start painting if you guys are not already if you subscribe down below it'd be awesome I do this every single night starting at 10 23 Eastern 7 23 Pacific time every day is different they usually last pretty long I'm on for like one to two hours or sorry one to three hours working on different art projects sometimes I'm painting uh, splatter painting on baseball cards like this Sometimes I'm painting cards that become my tops cards. Sometimes we're just tonight We're just gonna do some splatter paint uh, on canvas Last night we made a relic card. Actually, I'm gonna get that because that's super sick. I want to show you guys and then we're gonna get going. Okay. Some coffee, which has kind of gotten cold, but 
It's still good. So last night, we were right here and we were making this card. We made it completely from scratch. We did, um, designed it in Photoshop, and then that little swatch right there, let's see if, maybe if I put it up to this one, it'll be better. So that little swatch, oh God, dented corners. Actually, it landed flat, which is pretty lucky. So that came from this pair of paints, paint pants, that uh, I've painted in for the last few years. And they had a pretty big hole in the back. They were retired. So we took those and we turned them into a relic card. And as a follow-up to that, I'll tell you guys, I reached out to Tops today. I showed them this and I said, look what we can do. Let's work together. And we are going to discuss... Potentially tops helping me produce relic cards. So like having an actual relic card by tops with a piece of my pants In the card would be like banana. So that would uh, probably not be like tied to project 2020 It would be separate, but how sick would that be? If tops released my relics and this was the first prototype and you guys got to see it happen. That's pretty cool Okay, let's see Nailed it. All right, we're gonna mix up some paint I gotta get some uh, bin, uh, cups, I guess is the right word. <laughs> some cups to mix the paint up in. What's up, Ben Brown? Welcome. Aaron Sports Cards, hello. Aaron, did you see Bobby today? And uh, did you tell him I said what's up? I forgot, uh, after we talked earlier, I forgot to try to call him again. So by the way, Dad, this guy in the comments that's uh, Aaron Sports Cards is good friends with Bobby from Diamond Sports Cards in San Rafael on 4th Street, uh, which is like such a crazy small world. I was mentioning how um, I would go in there as a kid for both baseball cards and also magic cards. And um, yeah, he knew Bobby and like went and saw Bobby today, which is really cool. Alan and Ginter next year, if not something separate, absolutely. That is uh, also in the, in the pipeline. All right, I'm gonna grab those cups I was talking about. This part, I guess we can make this. Oops, that's not the one I wanted to move. Let's see here. Here, there we go. We can make that a little bigger. Put that in here. Okay, so we have, oh, I'm just mixing containers where we're going to mix up some of this paint to splatter. jug of water to mix water down the paint a little, which is going to help it splash a lot more. Patrick, how cool is that? I know, it's amazing. I saw him and gave him your info. Perfect. I will absolutely do that. I'll try calling him after 3 o'clock my time. Don't know if you remember, my A's jacket back in the 80s came from Bobby. I did not know that. That's awesome. It's crazy um, how it all comes full circle. I was telling Aaron last night that uh, Diamond is right next door to Riley Street Art Supplies, where I get all my supplies. So when I was, whenever I'm home there and getting supplies, I will stop in and say what's up to him. And he knows that I've been painting athletes. I think the last time I was in there, I showed him a, the Draymond Green. But he has no idea about the tops thing because I was not allowed to talk about it for a long time before before it happened. Let's put a little more. Uh, some of that in there. So let's see. I'll give you guys a little bit more of an idea of what I'm doing. This exact science over here that's just uh, not an exact science. Okay. And we're going to do this kind of bronze. Very cool.
Okay, so we'll do story time while I'm mixing paint. So, uh, when I cut my stencils, you guys saw last night, I put this uh, mesh on top. It's called Fiba Tape. And it's from, uh, and by the way, sorry if I'm blowing up here. It's your spot, man. But um, I used to cut stencils where I would take paper, I would use the spray adhesive glue like we made the card with last night, and I would glue it to poster board. And then I would cut out my stencils from that. And I was going through blades really, really quickly, cutting through poster board and paper at the same time. And also it kind of limited what I could do because if I cut something out, like nothing could be like in the middle, like what's called an island for a stencil. And Megan, Meg Zaney, came up to my studio in Northern California at my parents' house in 2016. And she showed me a different way where she was cutting stencils from paper, regular paper, and then she would cut them and then she'd put on this mesh tape on top, fiber tape. And uh, after she left, uh, you know, she explained to me how like, A, it like holds the islands all in place and it also gives this paper the rigidity so it's doesn't, not gonna like get too messed up. And like it makes it way more durable plus you can like roll it up. So Meg would travel the world with uh, some of her awesome stencils and she'd do, take the same stencil to all these different countries and paint all over, all over the place, which is super tight. Her work is amazing. Meg Zaney, M-E-G, Z-A-N-Y on Instagram, and it looks like the same here on YouTube. And so she taught me how to use this, or she get, inspired me to use that, um, the fiber tape, and that's one thing that stuck with me, and now, like, years later, I'm here in New York and painting all the time. Like, I have all of these file cabinets down here are all full of stencils that I've cut and then used that tape, that fiber tape on top of. So shout out to Meg for that. You guys should definitely follow her art super tight and follow her on Instagram. M-E-G-Z-A-N-Y on Instagram. All right, let's see here. So I'm thinking maybe just some white. All right. Meg is genius. It is genius. She's a very smart girl. Also, fun fact about Meg, we met when I lived in Los Angeles. Before I was a full-time artist, I worked in digital marketing. I was in kind of the tech space, and she was actually also in the tech space. So we met at a tech mixer. I think it was a mixer for something called Silicon Beach LA. And they would throw these like happy hour events where you'd go and you'd met, meet with other, whether it's, uh, you, know, you know, tech engineers, software engineers, uh, marketers like myself, people who ran startups, all kinds of stuff. So Meg and I met at that and we were both in that kind of circle and then like didn't really connect again. Like we kind of fell out of touch for a long time. And when we reconnected, I was like, I don't remember who saw who did what first, but like we both based, we both transitioned from marketing tech kind of space into full-time art. And uh, I think we did it around the same time. And so that was really cool to like see someone from your past where you guys knew each other from a different world and now you guys are like in a different world but the same world if that makes sense. So that was cool. Okay, we're not gonna use that. Okay, so we have white, bronze, and then some different variations of orange. So what these look now, look like now is just um, that. We're gonna put in some water. Full circle. Do a little bit of that. Once again, this is an exact science. You want to put in exactly one blob of water. That's what I like to do, at least. Okay. We need some paintbrushes to mix it up. We'll go grab those. All right. Hey, Eric. Um, oh, actually, I guess I can put in links, too. I want to put in... Um, try to share the love here. There we go. Instagram.com slash Meg Zenny. Let me just make sure that link works. Tight. Boom. So there we go. So now if you guys want to check out Meg's work, link is down in the comments. While I'm grabbing brushes, pop over to Instagram and give her a follow. But do it in a different tab. Keep this one open. We got to keep the views coming. OK, 
Okay, we'll be right back. Uh, if I can find my OBS screen again. There it is. Okay, I also have to mute my... How do I do this? There we go. Okay, be right back. I also got some spatulas. You guys saw me use those the other night a little bit. I knew I was going to need them later, so I try to save trips back and forth because I wouldn't want to get too much exercise. So we're going to mix up our painty water. Let's see if it will free. It's very scientific. It's hard to do with the mirror thing, but basically just trying to get a regular consistency, which is essentially like a very watery paint, which is going to splatter really well when you start throwing paint around. Also, should be careful that I don't have any, like, I think we're good. There could be a lot of collateral damage sometimes with uh, this style of painting. Nice. Boomer, I see, uh, what's up, Boomer? So for those of you that don't know, Boomer and his son Noah met me through this project. Noah is also an artist. They've been tuning in almost every night. Uh, Boomer and Noah, we have a special guest, a couple special guests tonight, but uh, my dad, Patrick Jamison, is also up in these comments somewhere. And so this is his first, he's watched all the streams, I think, but he has not, um, I think he watched replays. So. Now he's here live, which is awesome. So you guys should meet. And then uh, my friend Meg Zaney, who is another artist of mine, artist friend that lives in LA. I think you, right? I assume you still live in LA. <laughs> um, oh yeah, we talked today and you said LA is on lockdown. So yeah, still LA, confirmed. Uh, her art's tight. She does uh, a lot of street art murals and amazing work. So welcome to them as well. That's a really nice color. So this is actually very similar color to Let's see here, I'm gonna show you guys. Very similar to the Nolan Ryan orange that went on my first card. Very vibrant. And for those of you that like got the first card in the mail today, I think, um, or this week, you saw how much that pops. It really like stands out on that white card. So that's gonna be a fun, it's gonna be a fun one. The first color that I just mixed up is actually, it's probably pretty close. Put in a little bit more red into that one. So these golden, it's so crazy. It's its expensive hobby to be an artist. These type of paint, these golden paints are more expensive than these more generic Blick brand paints. And of the goldens, this specific one, Pyrrole Red Series 8 means hell of expensive. It's like, I think it's like 70 bucks for this, which is insane. But this stuff really does the trick for like $5, what this does for $70, um, like 90% as well, if that makes sense. So like you're paying a lot more for a little bit of a difference and it's just kind of up to you and what makes sense for you and your practice. So Boomer, you don't have to get the golden paint for Noah. You don't need it yet. Uh, and you might never need it. All right, so we got that. Still waiting on all of your cards in Canada. Man, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, Nolan's scheduled to be in Hawaii <laughs> late May. Oh my God, that's brutal. Okay, we mixed that one already. And I'm just gonna, um, we could do this one. This is the bronze. Thank you, Boomer. Yeah, it's been awesome getting to know you guys. You guys are rad. We got a couple Canadians in the house. Uh, okay, so Ben Brown asks, what is the discount code for the Mattingly Artist Auto? How about I get a two for one? 
Ha ha. Well, I can't do a two for one, but uh, if you use the code FAMBAM, F-A-M-B-A-M, that'll get 10% off. That's the only promo code right now on the site. And we're mostly just selling, sending that to like the fam bam, the family, or the very, very close friends, but you guys are my new close friends, so how about that? I guess if I see that code being used, I will know that you bought one, and I will appreciate it very much if that happens. Here. White. So I'd love to know, show of hands, who was on the stream when we did the backgrounds for Ken Griffey Jr., where we did the gold, the blue, and what was the other color? Purple. Gold, blue, and purple. What we did then is very similar to what we're going to do tonight in terms of uh, splattering that shit. Stuff. Sorry, Dad. Eugene, you got it. Now you guys know. Okay. Okay. So this is a pretty nice kind of orangey yellow. A warm yellow. Reminds me of a painting that I did, well, really Meg did, at my house where we did this space lady. And it was this uh, woman astronaut stencil that I had cut. And then she painted, she used the stencil, um, so it was like a collab piece, and then took this like bright yellow paint which actually, if you were on last night's stream and you saw the picture of me where I had my hand dipped in paint, it looked like the Midas touch kind of thing. It was that same yellow paint. And, and she like put a ton of it on so that it like dripped over the edges and it looked so sick. Um, and that's kind of what this color reminds me of. Okay. Time to have some coffee. I really need to microwave that. Okay, we'll make this a little smaller. Okay, so we're just gonna we're gonna do a big splash, basically. I'm trying to make sure I gotta make sure I don't have anything for collateral damage. Okay, so I think we're gonna come at it. Let's we're gonna come kind of this direction, and uh, we'll see. All right, three, two, one, go. Yeah, I dig it. I know it's just a, not a ton of paint so far, but when we get to wipe more paint on the pants for future relics. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, let's do this dark one. So like last time, we're gonna do a couple splashes and then we're gonna do the squeegee across it, but we're gonna let it dry for like five minutes in between which will make, um, I'll turn on this fan, which will make kind of a cool outline, like a marbled effect almost. Meg, you still have that painting, amazing. I still have your, uh, the Courage print that you did, the silk screen for me, um, on, uh, what did we do it, on art paper, that is like pink and black, and it's super cool. I actually need to get that framed. Okay, so now let's see here. So I love like, I think this looks so sick and it's not going to stay like this because we're going to like squeegee and stuff, but I just want to show you this pattern. I can't 
there of like that red on top of the yellow looks like I don't know like little spiders I'm going to throw my coffee in the microwave real quick while this is drying a little bit. So getting a little colder beverage. You guys saw my tweet earlier. I ran out of Modelo. I went to the store to get more, and they were completely out. I feel like I bought it all, <laughs> so I had to go with Coors Light. All right. Um, debating whether or not we want to do one more color before we like squeegee it. So we have we have three colors left. Hmm. No, I think we want to squeegee it and then do three more colors. Nice. Thank you, Pedro. Yeah, it should be cool. I think the the ultimate painting is going to turn out um, probably more orange. But this pyrrole red that I was telling you guys about that I used is like a really uh, strong color. Like a little bit of it goes a long way, which is good because it's expensive. So I did put kind of a lot in there, which is why that turned out. It turned a very bright orange into like blood red um let's see here liquid gold yeah basically is it's called golden so basically is liquid gold cool nice followed Meg Zaney great work thank you Kevin I appreciate that I'm sure Meg does too it was great all right well I want to squeegee, but I know that if I like wait like even like two or three more minutes, it'll help. Um, basically, what it'll make happen is if I find the King Greetings, I can show you guys. So here's one that we did the other night. Coffee's ready. So like these kind of, let's see, I'm trying to do this backwards, but these kind of squiggly lines where you see like the outline of the paint colors. The longer I wait, the longer I wait to let what we have right now dry, the thicker outline that was gonna have. So like the more pronounced those little spiders are gonna be, for example. And I think that they look really cool. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, I love, like, the bottom, like this blue that came out really sick. And this is, the painting itself came out pretty cool, too, I think. I don't know if this is going to be the Griffey we run with or not yet. I'm going to do one more version. And then I'm going to let the internet decide which one becomes the tops card. We did two the other night. And I'm going to do one probably just by myself. Uh, during the day before 1023 and then I'll let you guys like pick at the end Tony says take your time you're furloughed at the moment I'm sorry that you're furloughed but thank you for spending your furlough here with us so I really appreciate that um, let's see here Meg says thank you awesome yeah let's um, while I'm chilling let's throw that link down there again where's my comment there we go. Oops. Oh, actually, I think it's already pasted. Yep, there it is. Uh, Reese asked to do a tour of my studio some night. I actually, I would love that. I think that is a great idea. Um, when I do that, because I'm sure you guys saw, like even earlier today, I like wiggled my computer a tiny bit and then the USB connection that connects it to the phone, which is filming that stuff down there, like froze. So I think when I do that, I'm just gonna do a live stream straight to my phone 
and like carry it around. It'll probably be a shorter one, but uh, yes, I will absolutely, um, absolutely do a tour of the studio. All right, I'm gonna throw this back up with my other tops cards. Okay, since we're killing time, let me just show you guys these. So I got, yeah, do the MTV Cribs version of the studio. So I got these uh, one touch, 130 points. And the reason why, let's check this out. Boop. Boop. Oh boy, almost lost them all. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Anyways, but if you look at the back of these, they're blank. So these are the art cards, the art reference cards that Tops gave the artists because some of the artists are drawing and painting directly on the cards. So they wanted to give us a few so that if we messed up, we didn't have to hit them up over and over and over again. I can't believe I almost just spilled all my cards. Anyway, so here's 25 of them so far. I bought 50, I got 50 one touch cases, but I still need a bunch more because I have um, I have eight of each and there's 20 cards, so it's a lot. I need to buy, what's that, 110 more cases. I think we're ready. I think we're ready to rock. So I'm gonna make myself small again. Yeah, Blake with the flex, yeah. Yeah, I mean, on one hand, it'd be sick if they were the actual, like, real cards, but on the other hand, those, um, those are probably more rare, because there weren't very many of those ones printed. And as far as the PSA stuff, I don't know, I could probably, uh, I could probably send them into PSA to get graded. I'm not really sure. I might have to explain to them what they were to begin with. Yeah, thank you, Eric. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's see where we're at right now. So we got 36 concurrence, 37 concurrence. Welcome new person who just joined. And 20 likes so far. So half of you guys have already done it, which is dope. But if you guys haven't already, subscribe, hit like, whatever. If you want to support my art, click the link in the, in the bio, proathleteportraits.com. And then as far as like paying it forward and other stuff that I need you guys to do, follow my girl Meg Zaney, who is um, here on the stream tonight. She's a very talented artist in LA. And say what's up to my dad, who is also here in the comments, telling some embarrassing stories from me as a kid. Okay, we're gonna do some swipes now. Kind of getting all the crusty paint off this. Thank you, Eric, for putting the link in the comments. Appreciate that. Are you going to embellish? The black backs, uh, or the white backs, um, or do you mean like the art cards that Tops gave me? Probably not. Um, maybe like one of each. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do some uh, swipey swipeys. I know last time I had quite the uh, homer's crack going on. Tried to tighten my belt up a little this time. Oh, that's like vibrant. Yeah, that red didn't actually smear as much as I thought. It kind of looks like comets almost, which is kind of cool. We're just getting started, so.
how we get the uh, that's how relics are made. So as you can see, um, oh I missed that one. So this is a cool, fun thing. So look at like this. Almost looks like comets or something. This is, you know, this is on canvas, which has texture. And then compare that to this on poster board, which is like, you'll notice all of my cards, the backgrounds kind of look similar. And I like like not painting all the way to the edges because it gives it part of the white border of the card. So that's why I did the two ones that are on foam core that are could potentially become tops cards. I did them in that style. But just the way that the paint smears on the different surfaces is so so different, honestly. And um, that's been a really fun thing with the with the projects is like experimenting with new materials and stuff. And I, I'm really happy that I ended up going the route of the foam board for for those. So what I'm thinking is. Let me let those dry a little bit more. But now, especially on those middle, middle ones, maybe not on that. Let's see. <laughs> Apparently, I would always draw in the bottom left corner of a sheet of paper. That'd be fun to like do a painting now. That's just. Just a little, little one. Okay, so we still have one orange left. And on those middle canvases where we have like that comet thing situation going on, uh, I want to cover more of the white canvas than is currently covered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more water to this orange. And that, w that way when we splash, it's going to be a bigger splash and it's also going to like cover more surface area and stuff. And I'll get some of this. Also want um, let's see here okay Thomas is Blake what style of painter are you for example abstract well I do a lot of different types of work but I think what I'm probably most known for is for portrait work painting athletes so hence my website is pro athlete portraits.com but I do a lot of abstract work as well and uh, I don't know, paint whatever I feel like that day, and that's kind of the fun of it. So we get to do whatever we want. But most of what I'm selling and making money from is my athlete portrait stuff. And I'm currently also working on a project with Topps baseball cards called Topps Project 2020, where they choose, they've chosen 20 different artists to paint 20 different iconic baseball cards, and uh, we're all we're each doing the same 20 cards. So like, for example, Ricky Henderson is my next card and my Ricky Henderson is gonna look very different than someone else's Ricky because we have different styles, but we're all doing portraits of the players, which is super tight. Um, you're feeling McGuire on these backgrounds? I could see that. I could see that happening, especially with the red and the callback to the Team USA jersey and all that. Okay, so I think we're going to do like, these are the kind of dangerous ones where you just throw it up in the air, but I think that's what we're going to do. Make sure you get all these kind of touching. Okay, here. Okay guys, wish me luck. Hopefully I don't get it on the ceiling. <laughs> okay, great. Got a lot more paint on there, which I like. I'm actually going to take, uh, let's see, I'm going to mix up a little bit more yellow or orangish yellow. We're going to do more of that. So the two colors left that I have mixed, pre-mixed, that I did before is white and then this bronze. 
but I kind of I think I want to do those at the very end and I'll do like a splatter from kind of far away and splatter it really hard so we'll get like a lot of separation and have like a ton of tiny dots versus like what I just did right there a big blob thanks man appreciate that uh, let's see here it's funny I almost totally got showered on myself of, um, of paint and I almost hit the ceiling but I didn't, so. Obviously I have paint all over my floor, so like whenever I leave the studio, I will be repainting it anyways. So if I had to paint the ceiling, I'm already painting the walls and I'm gonna be painting the floor, so it's not like, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Nice. Mike says he tried that in his house once his mom almost killed me. Do you mean uh, painting in your house? Splatter painting in your house? Yeah, that can do it. My parents were always pretty cool about letting me paint in the house. And I, my studio is, uh, I still have a studio at their house in California that is just the, mo the coolest studio ever. Like this one is sick, this studio is really cool, but the studio there is on a two acre property in Marin County it's like on like a farm or a ranch, and my physical studio is in a, in a barn, like a horse barn, and there's like horse stalls, and each stall is a different room, so like one stall is my photography room where I'd photograph works when I'm finished painting them, or I'll do like epoxy and put like a glass coating on them. Another one is like canvas storage, another one is my painting room, and, uh, and then there's literally a horse there named Spook. He's my neighbor. And so that's really cool. It's a fun space. And like, I think that the space itself inspires different work than like what I make here is different than what I make at home, at home in California. So that's cool. Okay. Your garage is going to look lovely when it's set up for Noah. I know, man, that's pretty cool. You're going to make him a painting corner is great. I can't wait to help and see that transformation. You got to take pictures and videos. The whole process is going to be really cool. All right, here we go again. Okay, so not like you can really aim that much, but I'm going to try and get some. I'm trying to get my blob like here, ish. So let's see here. Aimed really good. That was like a sniper. Sweet. I like those. I'm digging those uh, those tops backgrounds too. I think are going to be cool. So what I'm going to do next is, yeah, twelve stalls and one horse. That's right. Um, let's see here. Sounds relaxing. It's very relaxing. It's uh, like there's a pond on the property not far from the barn. And so like I usually, I like to paint late at night, as you guys know. And late at night, especially in like in the winter when it's like wet and rainy, frogs are like crazy in, around that pond. And so like literally my soundtrack is just like nonstop like frogs croaking. Is that the right word? I don't know frogs making noises and crickets and stuff and then every once in a while a horse is whinny which is cool um yeah adds grit to the art okay so what i'm going to do is like now we have those ones in the middle that are very like watery because i put in extra water in that paint i'm going to pick those up turn it sideways and we're going to have like drips coming down and then i'm going to hold it over and move it around on top of the other painting so we're going to get like raindrop raindrop kind of things all over the place yeah yeah dad so uh, baseball collector if uh, or you might already know this but Mike is the one who had me on the YouTube man was that just last night uh, his uh, beyond cardboard YouTube interview with him and JT who I don't know if I've seen him in, on here yet uh, his name is like Triple Crown 
something something triple crown 3c or something like that. I don't know. What's up, Tony? Welcome. You guys remember when I heated up my coffee and the microwave beeped and then I never went and got it? Yeah. Feeling the 1990 tops, Frank Thomas. Okay, I also, I could see that. So I think these for the tops cards. I actually really like them as is, and I'm gonna let them dry. I might add more paint later, but I don't want to go too far, too fast, and then not like it anymore. And I really love it right now, so I'm gonna set these two aside. Definitely does remind me of that Frank Thomas card with all those retro dots around the outside of the card. I see that for sure. So we're gonna do more squeegee action. Try and get the whole canvas covered with paint.
cool. Getting closer. Reminds me of uh, Tiger King. So I think of when I see that one. I like them. Uh, Alright. Tony, thank you. Yep, I can always add more, add more paint. Uh, yeah, orange now and later feel. I, I could see that. Yeah, I think that's like a great idea for that Frank Thomas card. Get a little bit of blue in there, maybe after it dries, some like, you know, blue dots and no names and. You know. All right. Oh man, you have like an emoji for a dab? I don't even know how you do that. Blake Exotic. Yeah, totally. Okay. So we have like a bronze. And then we have a white. And then we're going to be done for the night. That'd be, uh, I guess, on the shorter end, probably, of my stream. So it's been just over an hour. Not bad. Yeah, Joe Exotic Portrait on there would be hilarious. Oh, Eric, now you're just showing off, doing the dab emoji, because I don't know how to do that. Okay, we're going to put some, uh, some bronze on there. So I'm going to be, I'm basically going to be standing way off screen, off screen and off stream. And I'm going to splatter this like really hard and I hope I hit the canvas and I hope it kind of, we have like a wide grouping, but you never know. So anyways, all the stuff, well, you're going to just see me walk away and then I'm going to like gather my thoughts, maybe do a countdown and then it's just going to go on there. That's what you're going to see. I just realized I have some framed works that could be in the danger zone with a shot like this. I'll show you guys what they look like and then I'll move them out of the way. So these beauties, Don Mattingly, APs on cardboard, all original, they're one of ones, but I did a series of nine different paintings. About half of them are sold. The rest are on my website, link below, proathleteportraits.com. We're gonna put them safely somewhere else. All right, now we're gonna do it. Okay, three, two, one, go. Nice. Basically what I was hoping for, so that's good. Okay. There. Now we're going to do something similar, but with white. And then we're done for the night. The white is not as watery, so I think it's going to make like less of like a, it's not going to spread as much. But we're just going to use it as, as is. And then we're going to see. There's another cool thing, it could be relics. The paintbrush heads, like with paint on them and everything. That'd be sick. I really should put these on water though. Okay, here we go. Sweet. So, I'm pretty happy with them. I think um, I'll probably end up adding more paint to all of them, but I like to like get us all the base down. I think we did that tonight. And um, after I, you know, I'll sleep on it. I'll wake up in the morning, and usually I'll have a good idea of knowing. Okay, I nailed that, and that one's ready to be painted on for a portrait, or that one will be a standalone abstract. You know, this could be a 
abstract series on it by itself, and people could be into that, so who knows. Um, and the spray cans as, well, cans as well, yep. Yeah, the brush head idea was be awesome, Aaron. Yeah, we talked about some caps yesterday, so they're kind of fat, like they're thick. I know that like a relic could be, I guess, as fat as you want, but it would be hard to like cut this down in a way that it would fit in a in a card that's not like I don't know, like 600 point or something like ridiculous. Not impossible, but something to think about. see a little bit more of the textures we got which is kind of fun Anyways. all right well I think that went well thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight this is definitely on the shorter side I think this is the shortest live stream I've ever done but I don't want to overdo it and not be happy with the work in the morning and I feel like it's uh it's on its way Oh man, we're up to 39 concurrence though. That's like also like a high number for me. Dang. Okay, well, before you guys leave, make sure to subscribe down below and come back tomorrow. Uh, same bat time, same bat channel. Scalpel blade, I could use that. I mean, they all kind of look the same. What I like about the caps or the paintbrushes or the swatches of jeans is that like, there's never gonna be two that are the same, no matter how many I do. An X-Acto knife, everyone will look exactly the same. So, still could be fun um, to include. Maybe like if it's paired with like and the X-Acto blade and then like a small cutout piece of the actual stencil of the painting. That could be really cool. Anyways, um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm here every night, 10.23 p.m. Eastern, 7.23 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, typically streaming for anywhere from like an hour, which is tonight's length, up to like three hours sometimes where I'll actually do a full painting start to finish. I can't like, these ones are not gonna be dry for a long time. Uh, so I don't have like, can't really stencil on them yet. But tomorrow, uh, we're gonna do something different. I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'm never gonna make two days in a row the same. So while we will be doing like splatter paint like this often, cause this is part of my job, cutting stencils, part of my job, I'll never do the same thing twice in a row. So we painted tonight yesterday last night yesterday we made a relic card which if you haven't seen if you're late to the party I can actually make this a little bigger so it looks like this this was a prototype relic and by the way I signed it down there guys in gold I got in my metallic uh, gold signature I didn't really leave enough room to do my full signature that I wanted so I kind of had to like squish it which is why it looks like a little more squished than it will, for example, on the Project 2020 cards where I can do a little bit more full because I was limited by that little space. I should have made a little more room. Anyways. Yeah, so hit like, hit subscribe. Click the link down below my video if you want to support my art. And uh, also if you like enjoy watching this type of stuff, like I literally have 200 videos on my YouTube channel that are like edited and produced videos. And they range from uh, like vlog content so I had a whole series called 90 days to MoMA that was super fun and actually Meg Zaney is in one of those episodes maybe two episodes so if you search like Blake James and Meg Zaney on YouTube then you could see that episode but um, there's also me collaborating with other artists doing ridiculous stuff and then there's like time-lapse videos of me painting you know my portrait my athlete work so there's tons of good stuff so if you're still like hungry for content and you're not tired yet you can go down the rabbit hole for sure on that Anyways, thank you guys so much. Uh, ben, real quick before uh, I leave, I'll answer this question. Are you signing the Nolan cards yet? So my Nolan card shipment should uh, res should arrive any day. It's supposed to come this week. Uh, I'm very excited to get that. It has not come yet. But when it does, uh, that'll be one of the nights is I'm going to be opening up all my cards. I have 60 of them coming, or 70 of them coming, but 60 are from Tops. 10 I had to get on the, on the secondary market. But um, the ones from Tops, I'm gonna open live because I'm hoping that I get the gold one of one card and it would be so sick to open it live, you know, with you guys and have you share that moment. I'll probably like scream or something. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to uh, see you guys tomorrow or in the future. And if I can ever do anything to help you out, never uh, 
hesitate to reach out. The easiest place is probably Twitter, twitter.com slash Blake Jameson. I respond to every tweet and every message, and I'm very active on there. So thanks again. Thank you, moderators, Boomer, and um, Eric. It's always helpful to have you guys in here. So I will catch you guys very, very soon. Stay awesome. Bye.